We use fMRI as a study looking at the Carillon device, which is used to treat functional mitral valve insufficiency. It's a coronary sinus approach, an indirect aneuploplasty device. So we go into the coronary sinus, deploy a distal anchor, then we apply tension, deploy a proximal anchor at the orifice of the coronary sinus, and this basically kinches the annulus of the mitral valve and reduces mitral valve insufficiency. So it's a, a sham controlled randomized study with 120 patients in many centers in Europe, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, and uh, we did conduct this study because we, we are using the Carillion device since many years in clinical practice, but we need objective data in order to proceed. So the endpoint of this study was a mechanistic endpoint, which means we are looking at severity of mitral valve insufficiency, and uh, it was a regurgitation volume, and this endpoint was met. So we could reduce the severity of MR. What we could not really investigate because of the trial was too small are secondary clinical endpoints which are meaningful for clinical practice like heart failure, uh, hospital admission or symptoms, uh, six minute walk test and so on. We saw a positive trend in these parameters but the differences had not been significant because the study was not powered to do so. Well, it means, first of all, it means for clinical trials. We, we should continue with this approach, which was not really clear before we did this trial. We had only non-randomized trials. Now we have the highest level of evidence, a randomized sham control trial, which is positive. So that means we can continue with further trials looking at clinical parameters. The device has the e-mark, it's available. So, uh, and we used it in clinical practice before, so this practice will actually not change. We will continue to use it and maybe use it even more than in the past. Yeah, I mean, the question is where to position this device in relation to other devices. First step is always medical therapy, and COAPT has shown nicely that these patients, including the COAPT, had been uh, under optimal medical therapy. Then we have the mitral clip, and I'm guessing, it's a little bit too early to say that, but I'm guessing that the Carillion device is between medical therapy and mitral clip. So for those patients who do not have very severe MR, only moderate MR, I think this is a good alternative. And the beauty of that device is that uh, all other options are kept open. So you can do a mitral clip later on if needed. You can do mitral valve implantation, you can mitral valve surgery. So all other options are still available.